Hello everyone, this is Akanksha and today I am here with a perfect gulab jamun with bread and instant variation to make the popular dessert with a very simple ingredients from your kitchen. For ingredients we need 6 bread slices, 2 to, two to 3 tablespoons of milk, uh, 1 bowl of white sugar and few raisins, curry powder and few almonds to garnish and oil for frying and one glass of water. Now let's first start uh, sugar syrup. Switch on the flame, add one ball of sugar, one glass of water and mix the water and sugar in a saucepan and bring it to a boil. And simmer until you have a thick syrup. This, uh, this uh, shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Keep this uh, uh, sugar syrup at low flame. And remove the crust of the bread from the edges as I have done. Now crumble it into pieces. Small pieces. Crumble down. I'm using brown bread. You can use white bread as well. Now I have chopped the bread into the small pieces and have transferred to a bowl. Now add 2 tablespoons of milk and use your fingertips to gently start mushing up the bread slices. Don't press or knead too hard otherwise the bread will become hard and slimy. Add more milk as needed by a spoonful and keep mixing until you get a dough that can be shaped. And be careful not to add too much milk. It can make the mixture very sticky and hard to shape. Now our dough is about to ready. Just check it by making a small balls, whether it's sticky or not. See, it means our dough is ready. Shape into small balls, and you can grease your hands with ghee or oil while shaping if that helps. Now just flatten the ball like this. Add raisins and cover it with the edges like this make the ball again this is a filling it is totally optional our gulab jamun ball is ready like this we have to make the other balls now our seven balls are ready let's check our sugar syrup our sugar syrup almost ready put this cardamom powder pinch of cardamom powder and stir it gently and cover the lid now switch on the flame add oil toil until almost smoking the oil is almost smoking now gently drop the bread balls into the hot oil one by one. Fry on a medium flame. Now on a medium flame, fry until golden brown. You can fry this until they are very dark brown. But I feel like I didn't fry long enough since the jamun turned a lighter color after soaking in the syrup. Look, they are almost brown. So make sure you keep the flame medium while frying. Otherwise the inside won't get cooked properly. Put it out in a wet kitchen towel, in a kitchen towel. See how beautiful they are. Mm. Wow, what an aroma. Take this bread gulab jamuns on a kitchen towel. Now, put it with the lid and one by one, soak the bread gulab jamun into the sugar syrup. Like this and stir it lightly, very lightly. Let the jam soak in the sugar syrup for at least 10 minutes. Look, on a low flame, just cook for two to three minutes so that it can absorb all the sugar syrup. Now, it's almost ready. Now, switch off the flame. Take the gulab jamuns into a bowl. Wow, what an aroma. 
They are really nice. Now, friend, look at this. I'm garnishing my bread gulab jamun with chopped almonds. Wow! Look at this. So beautiful and really so yummy. And you can serve gulab jamuns warm with vanilla ice cream or chilled. Please, friend, try this recipe and do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like my recipe, kindly hit the like button and and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Happy cooking.